Welcome back to the Sheffield Wednesday Past and Present Road to Glory within FC25. It's been a week since the last video, so we've got a week of updates to bring you, starting with some packs for you that were released last week. I think, you know what, they're tradable. We'll give them a go for the amount of coinage we have got on this account. It's worth giving them a go. And to be fair, this is an 87 rated that's coming out of here. I think while we've got so many coins that we're going to constantly build from rewards every week and we can't spend them on players, we're waiting for Evos and such, I might as well try and increase the coins even more so by buying these tradable packs when they seem like good value. I'm not just going to buy them all, but yeah. We could have got Cantona out of there and I know you want me to put Cantona in because he's played a pre-season friendly game for us. I might bend it. If we end up getting... Cantona or get close to Cantona, I might bring him in. All right, I think it could be a fun chase card because it's ridiculous. Icons don't even come out of these packs. They're only out of named packs. They're not out of like plus packs, like 75 plus or 80 plus or whatever. They don't come out of that at the minute. But I did notice a comment saying I've put Kabachi into the forward fortification. So I just checked him out in there. And yes, he does become a little bit more all-rounded. We've got the La Rosia revolution there that we're working on with Alex Lopez. Uh, I'm not sure who I'm going to put into forward fortification yet. I'm leaving it open basically because it also means playing rush with that specific card. And unfortunately, even though you can put people in, it it isn't the best because you have to play the unlimited rush game mode most of the time because the Wednesday players don't have high enough stats. But Kimmich from that pack isn't bad at all. We've obviously been getting up the season pass and getting some rewards. This is us completing the Lopez La Roja thing because he becomes eligible for another chainable Evo later in this episode, which is a... I'm debating whether I put him or another player that we'll talk about later in, but I've also put Vardy back in the starting 11 just because I prefer to use him. Bethany England's got fantastic shooting. She's really good in rush, um, but in actual games, I prefer how Vardy feels. So I'm using Vardy at the minute. We also get 37.5k for that, bro. So we don't get our full pack value back, but I'm taking the gamble on stuff like that. It's worth it. This week, we haven't done the rivals um, rewards because I wanted to focus on Rush. As I said, I'm not like one of these pro players that does this full time and can do everything every single week. There will be weeks where we do everything. Like we've done squad battles and we've just finished another squad battles that's coming out in the next episode when those rewards are live. But this week has been not focused on rivals or champions qualifications. It's go, It's been about rush because it's all about rush, this promo. So I thought it makes sense. Let's focus on the rush games. That pack wasn't fantastic from our squad battles, but check your consumables. There was a Saudi league thing there. It was worth about 3K. Fenerbahce kit's worth a bit. So we do get some coins from where we didn't have coins before. Endrick's always a nice pull here as well. He's always a couple of K that you can get for him. So he's worth keeping an eye on. And then we've got the rest of our packs here. If it's not a walkout, I tend to skip it in the edit so you don't see it. But Ben White in that is decent. He's, he's like one of the cheapest 84s you can get. 84s have plummeted a bit, but we have got quite a few in our SBC storage, which is useful if we ever do get a good SBC. I want Emmy Martinez to get an SBC or a team of the week or something. Give us something for one of these past or present players to strive for at the minute. But to be fair, look at our coins, 482k. We can get it. We can get anything pretty much that will be in a Wednesday side, probably. Venacio is a good one for this slow it down evolution that came in during the week. It's tempting, but it's his overall stats. His play styles are good. Ariel's great, but his overall isn't as good as if you were to put somebody like Jan Valerie in. I think Valerie is the way I'm going to go with this. 86 acceleration, 75 sprint speed. His passing is better. He's actually going to be better than Bernard, I think, that we've currently got, the 69-rated Bernard, even with the Sprint Supreme, because Valerie can play centre-back as well. I think he's one we're going to have to focus on. I looked at options like McGuinness, but again, we want a bit better passing if we're going to have a centre-back, because passing is really important. Shea Charles is tempting, because he becomes quite a decent player there, but I just think, you know... He's primed for more Evos when we've got other midfield options. Our midfield isn't really our key area. I'll focus at the minute for something such as a small Evo like that. Liam Palmer is tempting though. So it's going to be Liam, Liam Palmer or 
Jan Valerie for me. So let me know who you think I should put into that down in the comments. I think Valerie's better overall, but there is the Valor, there is the Palmer link with Wednesday, isn't there? Some more rewards here. Nothing too special out of that one. No walk out of that one. These are just the pluses that you get as you go through for completing some of the objectives that we get. I do realize when I do these and I do a week, how many rewards you do get over the span of the week. And if you're patient and you wait to open them, you can have quite a good end of the week. 83 from that. It was only an 81 plus. So we'll take an 83, I guess, but it's not fantastic. I've enjoyed the total rush challenges. Some of the rewards have been absolutely woeful, but some have been all right. I prefer it when they're tradable packs, they're decent packs, even if they're, you know, the fairly average packs. I prefer them to be tradable because you never know what you're going to get out of them we don't get much out of that one. But they do keep coming in with these challenges, the Total Rush Challenge 2 here, with the league restrictions and stuff. It's it's interesting. We don't actually have to buy any players for anything this week. Marquee matchups, Total Rush Challenges. We've got so many players in the squad at the minute. That's the interesting thing about doing an RTG, and a small prime gold players pack is very good. It's not a walkout, unfortunately. It could have been. That's always a nice tradable pack to have, and it's not fantastic. Butland's worth about a K and a half, and we do get a K and a half there for completing one of the coin objectives. But as I said, Rush has been a focus. These are our first Rush rewards that we were opening there, and then these are the two on top of that. So this is an 82 by 3. And, um, sorry, yeah, it is an 82 by 3. It was either that or an 83 by 3, um, but it we got two 83s, so... 84 by 2. You want something better than an 84 in this? And I do believe that is one better. It's not fantastic. It's an 84 and an 85, but it's fodder for when we do the future openings. And then we've got a couple of more. This is from the previous, because I know there's been a couple of rush challenges over the week. We have done them all. I'm currently doing the new one that's just dropped that's actually a bit a lot more annoying than the other ones I've been. But... um has anybody been passing to you this week? I'm sure they have. All that people do is pass and don't finish it when you pass to them. A lot of the rush I've been doing is off camera because I've been playing with my uh, mate. So I didn't really want to like put his gamer tag on the internet. I don't think that's fair. Rafina is a very cool pick, but it's been quite funny because he's been putting in good players and I've been using um, Barry Bannon and the likes so it's been a challenge but that's what we've been doing rush has been the focus this week then we get an 82 plus out of that nothing fantastic we do get our 400 assists during the point of that that gets us a jumbo rare players pack there's a gold pack from one of the um other foundation challenges there as well which doesn't get anything great but a jumbo rare players pack it's untradeable and it's not a walkout so it's not going to be amazing fodder. There's a couple of 84s in there. We'll take it. You know, it's better than nothing, I guess, but could have been a lot better. These packs are starting to get interesting. You know, at this stage, I think, hmm, do we open this 85k pack? This is probably a little bit irresponsible. One guaranteed to be 85 or higher. 10 rare gold player items rated 80 or higher. And I'm going, we've got 500k. We've been all right on this account. Let's just do it. And it is a walkout. It's a goalkeeper. It's Argentinian. It's Premier League. It's Edison, I'm thinking. And then I'm going, hang on. That's not... And then I realise who that is. It's McAllister. No, no, it's not. We've got two Argentinians, but we know who this is. It's our man. It's Emi Martinez. We've got first owned Emi Martinez. McAllister's in there as well. There's also a few lower rated tradable players that we can sell in that pack couple of useless loans to us, but it's nice to see the Total Rush promo as while we do it. And you know what? I'm actually thinking it's worth spending the store coins on that because we have got a first own Martinez. And here's the thing. We bought him for 14k. He sells for minimum. He's not lost any value. He's actually gone up. He's been selling for around 16 to 17. So we might make profit and we've got a first owned Emmy Martinez. The we play possessions come in. You can't put a striker in it. And this is where I think long and hard about what do I do. Most of our players are eligible in some regard because it's a stat limit thing, this Evo. Paul Valentin doesn't get too much from it, but it would be, it would have been half decent, to be fair. But I, I kind of do a heart choice here. And I think 
let's start working on Barry Bannon because I want to have a usable Barry Bannon because I feel like the career mode needs it. Not career mode, the RTG needs it. He's been a staple in all my career modes is where I was going in that. That's going to be really annoying winning five rush matches <laughs> with this Barry Bannon, but I'm not just doing it because of that. I'm going to show you the potential chain we can currently do with him. It's not amazing, but 81 rated. The reason I want to put him into the one that we play possession first is he gets Tiki Taka. And then that adds to dead ball, incisive, long ball, slide tackle, press proven, ping pass and finesse shot. That is going to be a half decent banner and he will probably replace Barkley for us. It's his height that I have an issue with in game. Especially Rush, I've been using him in Rush, trying to, actually, as of today, recording this, I'm trying to complete that challenge for Barry so we can put him in a chained Evo. But it's very annoying when people are using, just lifting the ball and Barry's doing his best, but he can't really intercept it. Having said that, though, he is very good on the ball for just a 72 rated player. Nothing too good out of that first marquee matchup here. Obviously, we had the international break. A lot went on in the international break. There's a new England manager and the likes. But I try not to neglect the marquee matchups. I nearly forgot with these ones. I'm not going to lie. But I'm, I'm glad I didn't. Not a spoiler, but there was some. there is something fairly decent at the end of it. Most of the build-up packs aren't fantastic. But what did you think? Did you get anything good out of the marquee matchups this week? Let me know in the comments the best pulls. I must say also stick around till the end because... Um, just stick around till the end, trust me. Ooh, this account is interesting with look that I have never seen before. But yeah, a couple of these packs are, I'm like, why am I even doing this? I always do it in reverse as well. Do the hardest ones first because then you can just do the easier marquee matchups without having to buy players if you've used them all in the lower ones. I built a lot of French teams this week. I had a lot of French players. And this is another one to add to the collection. So you see it's a walkout. It's tradable because it's from the marquee match. Centre-back, it's French. Everybody knows who this is. I think this is everybody's 88-rated pick. It's going to be Renard. Anticipate Plus. I had one of her promo cards that was fantastic last season. But that pace, I don't remember it being that bad. Have they just slashed her pace in half? this year, but she's worth between 16 and 20k, so not bad for the marquee matchups. I've told you I've been focusing on Rush this week. Look at all these rewards. You claim them all at once, and it's like you've done champions, to be honest. For my rank, it's probably better than champions, let's be honest. I know they're not tradable, but some decent rewards to open, and we are going to claim them all, but we're going to only open a couple here. As you see, we get an 83, because this is me waiting for the team to reset because we can't you there's always a chance they throw a past and present Wednesday player in the new team spoiler alert unfortunately they didn't on Friday there's nobody in the rush team or the team of the week that fits it but we're going to we are going to claim the rewards with the new promo amongst these we've now got 85 rated fodder there in Ito and some more player picks they all add up with the we play possession was completed as well i left that one till about a couple of hours before so Cut it quite fine. But all of those rush games built up the season pass rewards as well. So the season pass was moving through. We got a fantastic Bellingham that we can't use there. But the player picks and the player packs will be very, very useful. I might as well show you with my, uh, when I was just playing by myself with some random people online, trying to get Barry Bannon into that Evo. This is the first game we try with him. He doesn't fit into we play possession at this point. So we have to go in the overall 92 one because he's not got good enough, I think it was dribbling or passing, or one of those, to be in the Wii Play possession. But he can put the ball in the back of the net like that. I think after his first Evo, he, he potentially will be good enough if we win a game of rush with him here. It's quite a close game, as you can see. There's only one goal that I scored until the 2 minutes 40. And then Barry Bannon gets the second. It's a nice little sweaty tap-in. And I'm thinking, okay... We're holding this. The 72 rated players holding this game. It's it's not a fantastic game. It's a lot of misplaced passes and the like. So I don't think the opposition team were fantastic. And they don't score until in the last minute. So I go, right, I, I'm going to have to hold the ball here with 30 seconds to go. And I do. And I think, oh, Barry's not got great balance there. So we're going to pass back to the keeper. And then somebody asks for it there. And I start to panic. But Barry does a challenge. 
Grimaldo's in, they bring the keeper out and that is what we want there. But I was panicking for a second. We do get the win. Now, we only got a 7.8 rating, but the top performer got an 8.1 on our team. So as you can see, it wasn't a great game overall. But that is Barry in the first rank, which gives him six passing. It gives him four dribbling and it gives him that ticky tacker play style. But unfortunately, now I've got to win five matches in rush with him. <laughs> Why five, EA? Why? Especially because like the new rush one, we play possession just isn't there anymore. They've got the striker one and I'm going to have to do it all in the overall 92. And then we can put him in great beauty. They've brought in these loan things where you get all the loan teams and stuff, which is useless to us. But new promo is in. Let's see if we get anything decent out of these player picks. One of 375. We'll take an 82 from it. And it's a one of 375 again. I'm going to probably say that a lot. Dybala from that is not bad whatsoever. It would be nice to get quite a nice SBC storage of high-rated players. There's a glitch as well where you select a player, you try and compare the price, and it goes to the other player. I'm assuming you've all noticed that this week, so that's what happened there with Dybala. And Aki Williams would be worth a lot more a couple of weeks ago, but they're not tradable, these anyway. It's all fodder, so the higher the rating, the better, really. One of 280-plus players... An 83 is not too bad. If we're around that, I'll take 83s, 84s. I'd love a couple of 85s in there. Two 83s out of the 80 plus. You want a bit better than 81 rated players out of one or two 81 players. And you get Dilit, who you can then put in your SBC storage there. This should have always been in the game, right? The fact that I would have had to choose the 81 rated player before is ridiculous. Walsh out of that one. We got an 84 and an 85 out of an 82 plus, which we'll take. One of three 83 plus. 283s and an 84. It's Ruben Neves, and it's uh, a bit weak, that. And we've got another one to round this off, and it's an 85. I'll take 85s all day long because they are very useful for SPCs that we're currently not doing because there's nobody that fits. We will start doing, like, if you want me to put Cantona in, though, I think it'd be interesting if they do... Is there a base icon? But it's max at the minute, and I think Cantona's more than that. Um, if they start doing like icon SBCs, we could we could reach for Cantona, our preseason player. We'll give it a go. Was it preseason or something like a winter break or something for where he was? At? I don't know. Somebody said that there was a preseason game where Cantona played for us, so that's good enough for me. If we've got Godfrey in the side, we can we can bend it to Cantona. So these are some of the rewards from the other rush stuff. These are the actual packs, not the player picks. Nothing fantastic, like 84 pluses and we're getting 84s, which you'd usually expect. I must say the rewards weren't that kind to us in this because there's an 84 plus here and um, we get two 84s, which is great. I tell you what, though, I talk about using our coins while we can. This five-a-side player pick pack, 40k, Four, one rare gold player pick, one of five rated 83 or higher. We've got 450k on the account. I think we can do it once. You never know what you're going to get. The new promo's out. Let's just try it. Let's just see what happens. And look at that. What is this account? I don't even know. I don't know. Like, that if that's worth much at the minute, I'm thinking, oh, he's bestowing more because a lot of the... Rush promos a discard price. Oh, no. He's 535k currently. We're going to have nearly a million coins on this account. I, I don't understand the look. First the hero, tradable hero, now this. And I think, fine, we we can definitely afford another one of them. Let's, uh, let's spend the money. We're about to make a load. And, uh, yeah, that works out exactly how you'd expect. 284s out of that. That's probably what you're going to get. So don't. Don't risk it if you can't risk it. We we can on this. The split decision pack. I think I do this like an idiot. No, I don't do it on this account. I do it on my other one because I'm an idiot. But it's untradeable, so it's not worth it for us for 60k. It's just a waste of coins, that. Um, the 10 coin pack's always good, but there's nothing fantastic out of it. Silver pack here is Shay Charles, first owned. That's what I want to see out of these preview packs. Sheffield Wednesday players. We actually end up selling the... Total Rush guy, the PSG player, his price fluctuates massively. So I end up selling him for 440k because I start to panic. Um, and that it, some people were selling him for 400k. But we do get 440k that's not on camera here. But 
we've got about 700k 800k on the account now f- that we can't use but i think any evo that comes out we will be sorted but if you've been enjoying this series guys please let me know we get an inform there and it's a good way to wrap it off we're going to be doing rivals this week to try and build up our qualification points to give champs another go but for now guys as always thank you so much for watching please like subscribe do all those things and keep watching right here on dexterity box Thank you.